Hi. My name is Jeffrey Gardner, and I want to say this is an incredibly beautiful Vermont day. And I know that because you're here, and because of what we've heard, that this is a dedicated, committed group of hardcore activists. And I'm grateful that you're here. I want to say a number of things that I think are just below the surface of a lot that we've heard. Most of the people we've heard from are already engaged with groups acting to bring some sanity and reasonable policy in a number of areas. Anti-militarism, climate change and energy use, Black Lives Matter and all that that implies, income inequality, and all the other issues that we've heard about. We all do know, because we are a group of committed hardcore activists, that all of these things are connected. And they all are connected to, in our commitment to face down the fascism that no longer is creeping, but is galloping. And that's true here in Vermont, as well as elsewhere and everywhere across the country and actually across the world. But I think it's our duty to go on with the particular issues that each of us are involved in, but perhaps with more attention to the connections between our particular issues and all of the other issues that we're hearing about and we continually hear about, as well as their connection to galloping fascism. Now, that means that we have to do something, because fascism is galloping, somewhat different from what we usually do. As a rule, we talk to people in authority, as here in the State House. Many of us have done lots of that, perhaps way too much of that. But when we do that, and when we speak to ourselves, we imagine, and I think correctly, that we're really speaking for everybody and for the interests of everybody. But I believe that what right now we need to do more than we usually do is actually speak not just to authority, not just to and among ourselves, but to everybody else. And I think for us what that means is that gatherings like this have to become bigger, more public, and more regular than they have been. I think we really do have to take the example of cities like Portland and be in the street on a regular basis. And the overwhelming important thing about that right now is that the full force of the United States government, the Trump government, was to bring overwhelming violent power to the streets of Portland. And it did incredible devastation that comes home, not just in terms of the journalist who's a Vermonter who we heard about, but many other ways as well. That power has bowed, failed, because of the multitudes of peaceful people in the street. This is a time to rededicate to nonviolence, and this also is a time to rededicate to what's best in the Constitution of the United States, flawed that, though it is, because in fact, if we do that, we will help to improve it. So it's time to get together, get in the streets, and keep going. Thank you.